right, I wanna show you guys the app that I think is the best app for editing photos on the iPhone 11, or really any iPhone for that matter. But it's particularly great with iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro, just because those cameras are so excellent that you can really do amazing things with them. And so this presents a really great opportunity for us with an excellent editing app to create beautiful photos using just the iPhone. So the app that I really like is Darkroom. And I've talked about this app before for editing raw photos, and you can take raw photos using different apps on the iPhone. But today we're just going to be editing just the high efficiency images that come from the phone's camera itself. So let's go ahead and let's jump into Darkroom and take a look at it. So here in Darkroom, we get access to our photos. So I have a bunch of photos here from a recent trip that we took to New York for Yellow Van Travels. Yellow Van Travels is the blog and podcast that I run with my wife. And so we took a bunch of these pictures here and I've already edited some of them. So just to show you how this works, I'm gonna show you a photo that I've already edited. So we're going to jump in here on this photo of Ellis Island. The thing that makes Darkroom super powerful is the level of control that it gives you. So let's just look. If I hold on the photo, you can see what it looked like before, and then you can see what it looked like now. Now, Darkroom is a free app to download, and you get access to all of the basic editing features for that. So there are things like cropping that you can do. Then next to that, you have filters. You get some filters for free, but you get all of the filters. If you buy the complete package, which is just $10 to unlock the whole app, you can buy filters separately, but it really makes sense if you want to, to just spend the $10 and unlock everything. The other free part that you get is all of the basic editing features here. So you can see I've adjusted the brightness, the contrast, the highlights, shadows. I've adjusted the blacks a little bit, the whites were fine in this picture, the vibrance, the temperature, the fade, the grain, the vignette, the sharpness, and also the highlights and shadows. And you get access to all of this in the free version of the app. But to really get the most out of editing your photos, you really need to learn to work with curves. And so the curves are actually a paid feature. You can experiment with them in the free version, but you aren't allowed to export anything that you use them on. And so this gives you access to your blacks, your darks, your midtones, your brights, and your whites in the curve. You can't add points in between like you would be able to do in some desktop editing apps, but this is really all you need. And then you can also edit the R, G, and B channels. You can see that I'm editing those to get a specific look. I just boost my reds a little bit bring down my greens to enhance my magentas, bring down my blues to bring out more of the yellows. Another really powerful feature that you don't get in most editing apps is color manipulation. We can choose specific color hues and we can edit where those are. So we'll edit a photo in just a second where I'll show you how this works. The last one is one I don't really use, it's framing. And I think that's part of the free version, but it's never been something that I've used, but you can use it to set up frames there. And then you have history. So this is all non-destructive. You can go back to anything. And like I said, this can also edit raw photos. And I've done a whole course on editing raw photos with this app on the iPad. So you can check that out. I'll link to it in the description. So let's go ahead and jump back here. Let's choose an unedited photo from this New York trip. Go ahead and we'll take this one of the Statue of Liberty and we'll see what we can do with it. So here in the crop, we can straighten it out if we want to. So that just gives us a little straight and we could crop it if we felt like we needed to. So try and crop out this little section at the bottom that I don't like. And then we could apply a preset filter. So there's a lot of them that you can have. They can give you different looks. You can check them out, but you can always get back to the original, which is what we're going to do since we want to edit this. Okay, coming in here, we can adjust all of our regular features. Bring up the brightness a little bit. I always like to give my photos a little bit more contrast, especially since I'm going to normally bring down the highlights to try and bring the sky back and boost the shadows a little bit. So then it's always nice to make sure we have a little bit of contrast left and we'll do more contrast on the curve, but you won't have access to the curves unless you purchase the full version. I like to bring the blacks down just a little bit because I'm gonna fade them later. So making them darker right here, I think helps out. I don't normally touch saturation because that does a little bit too much. And remember less is more with these things. Uh, temperature, I think I do want to warm that up because it is very blue. And then I normally like to just enhance my magentas a little bit by changing my tint. OK, 
can add fade here, but I'll do that in curves. And then I like to add a little bit of grain, just you know my style. Give it a little vignette. And just see what sharpness is doing. We'll sharpen it a little bit. Highlights and shadows, this is where you can get the teal orange look. I'm not going to do that on this photo, but you could do that. Now let's jump over here. I like to do a little bit of an S curve most of the time. Bring my blacks up to give it a little fade. Sometimes bring my whites down. Just slightly. Raise my midtones. I get a little red here. Curves is where things get really powerful. You can really develop a distinct look with curves. You can always hold on the photo to see what it looked like at the beginning, what it looks like now. Let's bring in some yellow here. All right, then we can adjust the color. Say we don't like the way that the statue is looking, we can kind of adjust that. If we think it's looking kind of blue, we can bring in more green because the statue is more green than blue. You can adjust each of these colors to the left or to the right on the color spectrum. You can also adjust the saturation and the luminance. So there's not a whole lot we need to do because there aren't a ton of colors in this picture. I think that's looking pretty good. And then we could, if we wanted to, add a frame to it. I don't want to add a frame. And then up at the top, we've got export options. So we could export this many different ways. I normally will just save a copy rather than modifying the original. And then we can put that wherever we want to on social media, etc. But one of the really powerful things about this is I can actually come here to my library, hold down on this photo, choose copy edits, go to the another photo that's similar and choose paste edits. And then when we click on that, you can see that this now when I hold down on it, it goes back to its original. When I take my thumb off, it now has all the edits. This is great for batch processing. You can work through photos really quickly with this app, and that's one of the things that I think makes it super powerful and really the best photo editing app for the iPhone 11. Let me show you another really powerful feature that this has really quick that's great for the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Pro. We're going to go to a portrait mode here. So here's one of me in portrait mode. And if we go to our editing settings, you can see we can actually change things for the foreground and the background, including the depth. And so that's Darkroom, short introduction to it. Again, like I said, I have a whole course on Darkroom for editing raw photos, and it goes through all of the details in that course. Even if you aren't editing raw, you can still use it. And I'll link to that in the description below. I hope you've liked learning about this app. Let me know which apps you like to edit your iPhone photos with in the comments below. Thanks. Bye.